Now, being able to pick up a ball or steer a scooter are things that many children, of course, take for granted. But for three-year-old Brooke from Hull Beach, they've been seen as a challenge. She was born with no fingers on her left hand. At one time, it was thought only surgery could help, until the family were offered a 3D printed mechanical hand. Simon Spark explains. Three-year-old Brooke enjoys playing in the garden like any other child her age, but now she's discovering new ways to play thanks to the latest technology that has 3D printed her a new hand. When you keep your hand straight, the fingers stay straight, and when you bend your wrist, the fingers close. Brooke was born with no fingers on her left hand. At 15 months old, she was offered surgery, but that would have meant using her toes to replace her fingers. That was really the only option they really give us, but it wasn't really the choice we wanted to do, really. But recently, the family discovered Enabling the Future, a charity who offered something else. 3D printing has the potential to drastically lower the entry point for prosthetics for children, and I think also prosthetic devices are quite intensive to make and uh, produce, so, so I think 3D printing um, has the advantage that type devices can be produced more rapidly, um, and also the, the, the flexibility it offers to customise the devices is, is, is quite interesting. 3D printing is one of the biggest technological advances of the decade. The printers which can create solid objects are being used to make toys, weapons, even human organs and houses. It took just a month from consultation to getting Brooke's new hand. No painful operations, no cosmetic surgery. Just an amazing example of how 3D printing technology is transforming people's lives with custom-made prosthetics. Just overwhelmed by it. Because I didn't we just thought that after we turned the operation down that there was going to be nothing there for her. So hopefully we can like help spread the word that there is help without going through operations and putting the children through it. So Brooke has only had her new hand a week, so right now she's discovering what it can do by getting it dirty and washing it clean again. And as Brooke grows and technology advances, who knows she could be 3D printing her own hands in the future. Simon Spark, BBC Look North, Hull Beach. What an incredible story. We wish Brooke all the very best.